Mom shares a selfie in her car. Police don't hesitate for a moment. Ashley was in the middle of the woods. Her knees were covered in scratches and her eyes stinging from the tears she'd cried. The sound of piercing police sirens echo throughout the skyscraper tree surrounding her and the flashing police lights hit her eyes. She covers them with her hand and lets out a sigh. This was not what she'd planned for her Saturday night. And to think this all started because of a selfie she took. She lets out another sigh. I just want this to be over. It was a sunny Saturday afternoon when Ashley and her family took a trip out to the local farmer's market. Driving through the beautiful surroundings, Ashley snapped a picture of herself with a sun beaming on her face. After sharing the image on the internet, she locked her phone and looked out the window into the blue sky. Little did she know this picture would change her life. A week had passed since Ashley took the selfie and she intended to spend her Saturday with Netflix and junk food. Home alone, she sprawled herself across the sofa, binging on reality TV and nibbling on some cookies. All of a sudden, the bell rings. Walking towards the door, Ashley's blinded by emergency lights flashing through her windows. She suddenly felt a lump in her throat. The police barge in through her door and within a few minutes, over 30 officers were in her house, searching through her things and flashing their lights across the rooms. What's going on? Ashley screams. What are you doing in my house? She says between sobs. One of the officers approaches her with a stern and serious look. Where's your phone? This officer asks. Ashley walks over to the sofa, picking up her phone and giving it to the officer. He scrolls through the pictures and shrieks when he finds what he's looking for. He shouts to one of the other officers and they all gather around to look at the phone. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Ashley says. The officer sits her down and begins to tell Ashley. The officer lets out a sigh before revealing their reason for the invasion. Turns out the police have spent months and months looking for a criminal responsible for numerous crimes. After what seemed like an endless search, searching and investigating, they ultimately ended up with no leads until now. Showing Ashley the selfie she took a week before, the officer says, The reflection in your glasses show the man we're looking for. Shocked, Ashley doesn't see anything at first, but when she looks closer, she couldn't miss it. The reflection of an old man was caught in her sunglasses. Worried there would be another victim, the police had no other option. We need to get back there straight away, the officer yells. So he, Ashley, and the rest of his team all set off. As they arrive by a ditch near the side of the road, a place that didn't mean anything to Ashley a week before, a feeling of uncertainty creeps upon her. We're one step closer, says an officer. After spending two hours searching through the grass, inspecting the road and taking countless pictures, the investigation seemed to ultimately reach a dead end. Letting out a sigh, Ashley perches herself on her car bonnet and looks through the picture she just took. Suddenly, she notices something. Ashley's camera had caught a reflection from a window. As she showed the officers, the majority agreed this was strange as there shouldn't be a house in the area. They were currently standing on a ring road opposite a large nature reserve. But then they looked up, eyes squinting, try to focus and find the house. After a few minutes, they do. Over there, an officer yells. A derelict house was about 15 feet away, hidden among the trees, leaves, and bushes. The officer pulls Ashley back and orders her to stay behind him. Slowly, they creep toward the house. The officers confirm there must have been some activity recently as a clean car was parked next to the shack. Suddenly, an officer raises his hand. I see movement, whispers an officer. Behind one of the windows, a person moved from left to right. It was an elderly man and officers confirmed it was who they were looking for. As quietly as they could, the officers approached the house and stood outside. Slowly treading around twigs and leaves, the officers could feel their hearts in their throats. This was what they were waiting for. An officer standing next to the door raised his fingers and started the countdown. Four, three, two, one, zero. With a deafening bang filling the woods, the police rammed the door down and huddled in. It's the police, hands up, an officer screamed. Armed with their weapons, they were expecting to find the confused criminal they'd been tracking for months. But the reality was a different story. Inside the house, the smell of mold and mildew lingered in the air clinging to the half-draped curtains. The living room, where the old man quietly walked around just a mere minutes ago, was completely empty. An officer noticed an open window the man must have fled through. Letting out a sigh, the police officers put their weapons back in their holsters, but then a piercing scream echoed throughout the house. 
He's getting away, screams Ashley, crouched near a log. He's running over there behind those trees, she screamed out to the officers. The officers immediately rushed over and sprinted after the suspect. He was old, but definitely not slow. It seems like he knew these woods like the back of his hand. Racing through the trees, he disappears into the dark. The officers knew they had to be careful. They knew they had to outsmart the suspect. Hidden among shrubbery and leaves, an officer discovers something strange. A trap, homemade. No way, he whispers. Guys, come look at this, he shouts to his group. They walk over but then suddenly hear a loud scream coming from behind the trees. The officers sprinted over towards the sound and were left blindsided. A member of the unit had got his leg stuck in a gigantic bear trap. Go without me, he can't get away this time, shouted the wounded officer. The rest of the team called an ambulance and quickly sprinted deeper into the woods. They had no idea what they'd come across. Stumbling across an old barn, the police officers huddle inside to find the old man packing a suitcase. We don't think so, whispers an officer alerting the man. He turns around and a policeman takes him down onto the hardwood floor. After a brief struggle, the man was handcuffed and taken away. But it wasn't until they saw what was inside the barn that they knew the old man would be put away for a very long time. Plastered across the walls were newspaper headlines of the numerous offenses he'd committed, almost like a shrine for all the horrible crimes. Looking in the drawers, the officers found thousands of weapons, along with ID and documents of what appeared to be his victims. The chase may be over, but unfortunately for Ashley, it wasn't for her. The police asked Ashley to go to the police station. Still shaking and confused at what happened over the past few hours, she agreed and made her way down. Walking through the reception, a swarm of anxiety hits her. How did this happen to her? How did it get to this? It all became too much and she started crying. Then suddenly she feels a hand on her shoulder. It was the policeman who invaded her house earlier that day. You seriously can't imagine how much you've helped us. Without you, a terrible, vindictive man would still be out there, he says while pointing to the window. Ashley smiles. Your help will not be forgotten, he says, before walking off. Less than a month later, Ashley was sitting quietly at her home when she heard her doorbell ring. Suddenly, she feels a lump in her throat. The last time she heard the doorbell was when police invaded her home. Slowly, she made her way over to the door to find a letter on her mat. It was addressed to her and had a presidential seal. What's this, she mutters before opening the letter. An honorary ribbon and signed letter from the president landed in her shaking hands. Thank you for your great courage and help to the country, the letter read. Lost for words, Ashley looks up and smiles to herself. It was finally over. Wow, what a story. This just goes to show that life can throw some pretty strange and obscure things at you in the most random of moments. You can be taking a selfie, walking down the street, or just out and about in the city. So next time you take a selfie, remember, you might just end up helping a criminal investigation.